Hello, I'm Vincent Bagnall. I'd like to show you a few scenes that I film of a male organization for singers which began over 140 years ago. In fact, this organization is the oldest group of male singers in the United States. This remarkable troupe is known as the Mendelssohn Glee Club. See, now this is fine. You guys have, have the melody, right? Measure 79. So it's fine that the second tenors don't have it necessarily at this point. Three, four. The Mendelssohn Glee Club, the second oldest musical group in America, was founded in 1866, a year after the establishment of the New York Philharmonic during a culture craze sweeping through high society as prosperity brought Americans into contact with European taste as documented in Mark Twain's Innocence Abroad. The club's only association with Felix Mendelssohn was the popularity of his songs, which were featured in their early concerts. was different from most other clubs in a sense that other clubs were usually founded by organizations uh, to have a glee club as part of their activity. But um, the Mendelssohn Glee Club was really a, a separate organization and we hired our conductor. Of course, we, when we got a good one, we held on to him for as long as we possibly could. In its second year, the distinguished musician Joseph Mosenthal became the club's musical director and its guiding inspiration. His compositions and arrangements set new standards for men's choral music in America. Now, Edward McDowell was a well-known American composer who had done most of his work in Europe and had fairly recently come back to the United States. McDowell, newly appointed professor of music at Columbia University, composed a number of original pieces for the club, as well as creating many inspired arrangements. His bright career was cut short by a runaway hansom cab in 1904, and the Mendelssohn Glee Club paid for his care until he passed away four years later.